Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming. I am delighted to be back in Baku. Uh, this has been a busy week, a uh, busy 10 days for U.S.-Azerbaijani bilateral cooperation. I think you know that um, Secretary Kerry's uh, senior energy coordinator, Almas Hogstein, was here for the Southern Corridor Conference. We've just had our Minsk group negotiator, Ambassador Jim Warlick here, and now my visit. I had a very good, frank, candid meeting with President Aliyev and the Foreign Minister Mamadirov and the National Security Advisor this morning. I then had a chance to sit with civil society. In both of those meetings, our message was strong and clear that the United States very much values our 20-year-plus partnership with Azerbaijan, that we want to see the strongest, most democratic and independent Azerbaijan as possible, that we want to continue the strong work we've done together over these years. And I've personally been coming to Baku since 1993 uh, in the three traditional areas where we work, in the security sphere, in the economic and energy sphere, and in strengthening and promoting the strongest possible democracy here in Azerbaijan. Just a few things on the security side. We obviously talked about the work we're doing together in Afghanistan, in Kosovo, uh, on countering terrorism, on countering violent extremism. We also have a, a large um, contingent from the U.S. Defense Department with us, a one-star general from UCOM, our uh, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for this region, and we talked about how we can do more together uh, to train and strengthen Azerbaijan's peacekeeping forces. There's a new defense minister who we're working well with. On the economic side, uh, in addition to all of the work that we're doing on energy security, and that work is very uh, significant now, uh, as you know, uh, the Baku Chehan project was our first project together, and now we're moving on to strengthen and bring to life the Southern Corridor, which is important not just for Azerbaijan, but also for all the countries of Europe who are too dependent on a single source of energy. So this is a joint project, U.S. project, Azerbaijan project, European project, and we are very much uh, eager to continue to stay uh, in lockstep with you and with the European Commission and with all of the states who will benefit from Southern Corridor. Uh, we also talked today about the importance of diversifying the, the economy of Azerbaijan, something that the President is uh, very intent on, particularly in working more intensively on the IT sector, on the transportation sector, on the agriculture sector. And the President spoke today about his personal commitment to countering corruption. Corruption is a democracy killer. Corruption deters foreign investment. Uh, we are working on countering corruption with countries across the region, across Europe, in the Balkans, and we agreed today that we would intensify that cooperation bilaterally in, in the interest of a strong, uh, democratic, clean Azerbaijan where all the people can benefit uh, as the country goes forward. We obviously talked about Nagorno-Karabakh, but because we've had the Minsk negotiators here in a long meeting yesterday, uh, they covered most of that. We are most concerned, obviously, about the violence on the line of contact. I will also continue that conversation uh, in Armenia. Both countries have responsibilities here. Uh, we, of course, talked about democracy, about human rights, uh, a vibrant, strong conversation between the government and civil society is very important for the future of Azerbaijan. It's something that the United States has supported and invested in uh, for more than 20 years. Today, uh, we did talk about the concerns that the United States has had 
in the last year or so about the trajectory here on the human rights side, on the free media side, and we agreed that we would continue that conversation and strengthen it by creating a U.S.-Azerbaijan dialogue on civil society and democracy. This will be a U.S.-Azerbaijan bilateral structure that will work in parallel with the work that Azerbaijan is currently doing with the Council of Europe and Secretary General Yagland. And I will work with Secretary General Yagland on ensuring that these uh, efforts are mutually reinforcing. And finally, we talked about people-to-people -people relations today, about the uh, student exchanges that we have, the Fulbright, IREX, the FLEX program, about the importance of young Azerbaijanis having the chance to study in the United States, and young Americans having the chance to come here and work and, and uh, learn in your country. Very, very important pillar of the work we do together. Uh, tense conversations uh, in public. What we need to do now is have a real structured dialogue, and that's why I'm very pleased that the President agreed today to establish this dialogue on civil society and democracy. I think it'll allow us to work through uh, some of the issues, to talk really candidly, as I was able to do with the President today, and I appreciate that, about the human rights situation, about the media situation, about strengthening NGOs. Uh, the strongest countries on the planet have vibrant civil societies, have vibrant dialogue between government and citizens. That uh, color revolutions are not necessary when uh, government and civil society and the population are talking to each other. They only happen when there is this uh, kind of uh, distance and tension and lack of open doors to meeting each other's needs. So we're hopeful that with strong dialogue here uh, between government and civil society, with strong dialogue on these issues between the United States and Azerbaijan, the trajectory here will, uh, will improve as will our uh, relationship on this issue as it has continued to improve on the other issues. Uh, six months or so on the line of contact, it was a message here, it'll be a message as well in Armenia that we want to see uh, the violence end. We want to see the parties back at the table. Uh, we want to support that process through the Minsk process with regard to uh, the prisoners. They, they should be, we believe, returned to Azerbaijan as a humanitarian gesture. I will make that point as well in Yerevan uh, tomorrow. Thank you very much.